What's up guys, Doc Ito here with an Alita update. The doctor is in. Today we're talking about Scott Mendelson, our favorite. He wants a sequel. Is he jumping on board the Alita army? We'll get you his comments. We are also mentioning this new article that just came out this morning about Alita Battle Angel 2 news. Will there be a sequel? Here's what James Cameron says. Also, are we already over 405 million? I look into this. There may be some indications to it. We'll also get to the latest box office numbers and the Blu-ray delay situation. First, reminders. We're almost at 12,500 votes on the change.org petition for a sequel. Let's keep up the fight and keep those numbers going up. Remember to request the movie on Netflix as we talked about in my Disney Plus review. While it might end up on Disney Plus, if we can get it to Netflix, we can spread this movie to more people. And if you haven't, vote for the movie on IMDb, Rotten Tomatoes, and Metacritic. And of course, remember to like and subscribe to the channel so Doc Ito can keep bringing these free repairs. One more quick announcement, Facebook is also back for Lita, posted yesterday 10am. This isn't a game, it's a hunt. So let's go through this Econo Times article about the Alita sequel. I'm not going to waste your time reading the whole thing. It's mostly a rehash of prior knowledge, saying expectations were low and then the movie did well, thinking that the movie earned enough to break even, and that there's a high likelihood of an Alita 2. They mention how the movie was set up for a sequel, and given the way it was set up, a sequel is surely coming. And then a quote from Cameron talking about how it's cheeky to set up a sequel before you're proven. Realistically, nothing new, more of a rehash, but... You can always head down in the comments here and show the support for the Alita movie sequel. And it always helps to have media publishing articles like this because it keeps the narrative going forward about the sequel. And if we comment and show support to it, they know the fans are watching and they're listening and they want it. We all know Scott Mendelson wrote this article, When Alita Crossed 400 Million, throwing shade at the accomplishment and already arguing against the sequel, saying it's not big enough. We went through this article in depth. If you haven't seen the video, check it out. But he makes a lot of arguments I disagree with. And I brought up his numbers were wrong, saying the movie would end at 84 million when we know it's about 85.5 already. He knew this in any event. In a more recent article, he has a little bit of a different tune. Down here in his last paragraph, he talks about Green Book and Alita, both of which have Maharshal Ali, that both will end up around 85 domestic. So glad he figured that out. We're still above that. Then he mentions that Alita crossed 400 million, but it also cost 170, while Green Book cost only 23. And here is what he says. Between you and me, I liked Alita a lot more than Green Book, or Captain Marvel for that matter. But I would be pleasantly surprised to see the sci-fi actioner go beyond this initial chapter. So he would be pleasantly surprised, meaning that he wants a sequel. He would love to see an Alita sequel. At least that's what he says here in the article. If you look at Rotten Tomatoes, he gave Alita a 7 out of 10, and he gave Captain Marvel a 6 out of 10. And interestingly, his Alita review with 20,000 views is twice as popular as the Captain Marvel reviews, as it should be. Alita is amazing. But even here, the surprise itself is throwing a little bit of shade at Alita, which is unfortunate because... For some reason, he keeps doing this. He claims that he likes Alita. He says he's seen, he's seen it a couple times in theaters. But for some reason, at every opportunity he can, and he tries to denigrate Alita. I've shown in the prior video how he talks about dismissive terms. On this Forbes article from March 24th, the initial Alita mention was, Alita Battle Angel will crawl past 400 million later this week. When you open the article, there's nothing of the sort. And all it mentions is that the movie ended up at 399.86. But look what happened. By initially saying that Alita will crawl past 400 million, meaning that the movie is barely alive, not doing anything, look at all of these other websites that picked up that exact same headline. All of these other newspapers, they still have this crawl left. It's just unfortunate because these edits are not reflected in other websites and they linger and it creates a narrative of the movie crawling, of the movie not doing well. You liked Alita Scott. You liked it more than Captain Marvel, more than Green Book. Fight for it. Join us. Join the Alita army. Fight for the movie. Support it. We know other Forbes writers have written more reasoned articles talking about how the movie has made enough. Join us. Don't stand by in the presence of evil. Fight against what's wrong. Fight against those that are saying don't talk about Alita, trying to silence us. We will fight. We are not being quiet. And with the Alita Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter back, we have a big voice going forward. Now, we did talk about when the Disney merger happened, how Twitter and everything went down. 
and I thought that the Blu-ray was possibly delayed because of this as well. On Blu-ray.com, in the U.S., it's now listed as June 25th, which is about six weeks behind the May 15th date, which was initially the date that 20th Century Fox told me when I called them. I think this is still tentative. It's possible this isn't the actual date, but it has gone back. When we pull up the Great Britain, we're at July 29th, so it's possible they're going to have it a little bit later, but I think this is still too early to tell. I do think it's likely we're looking at a little bit beyond what the initial thoughts were, but still, this might not be a bad thing overall, as it'll give them more time to market the movie and build the pre-orders up. If the pre-order drops on April 13th, and we're looking at June 25th, that would give us 73 days before the movie actually comes out, which is reasonable. 130 day release after the movie was initially in theaters to when the Blu-ray comes out is longer than most movies, but isn't unprecedented. And I think with all that happened with the merger, this just led to a little bit of a delay, but it seems that they have a plan. And with everything coming back online, it's a great sign that Cameron knows what he's doing and he is working on it. Now let's talk about these box office numbers. This is a Screen Daily box office international update talking about Shazam and Hellboy and after. At the bottom, they mention Alita. Alita Battle Angel has amassed 319.7 million. This is international. And you might notice that 319.7 is higher than the 318.1 that Box Office Mojo is reporting. Screen Daily is pretty legit too. Screen International was first issued in 1889 and now operates ScreenDaily.com. So it's a pretty legitimate source. If we take 319.7 and add in the 85.39 in the US, we would be at 405.09. So it's possible that we're actually above 405 right now. But with all of the issues with the four numbers that we've seen on Box Office Mojo, I'm not ready to announce that. It's possible. Who knows? I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if these numbers were revised down the way things have been going in that the movie, instead of being at, you know, 404 or close to it next week, it could be down to 402. Again, these fluctuations don't really matter in the long term, but every little bit helps. We don't have the Friday numbers yet, but we got about 14,000 on Thursday. And China is mostly done, although it does seem it made about $14,000 on Saturday, which is better than I thought. We'll have to see what happens when the weekend numbers come in. There is a possibility that these theaters could actually go up. It's unlikely, but I'm looking into it and it will be very interesting to see because if the movie does have a shot at getting to 86 million in the US, we will need that. And it's not completely unprecedented. I might go into this at a, in another video, but it's possible. So we'll have to see. It's going to be very interesting. So remember to keep fighting for Alita, to spread the word, to see the movie this weekend if it's around you. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel so Doc Ito can keep bringing these free repairs. Support Alita at the links below. We got this. We are going to keep going forward, and Alita is going to get this sequel, and we all can't wait. So y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Doc out.